questions and answers, windy questions and answers tonight. Trackside, and the first winner is Joseph Galley from Brigantine, New Jersey. He writes, recently a question was asked is the position of horses when they score in the second tier. You stated the horses in the second tier must start in the rotation behind the one, two, and three. And Mr. Galley says, I always believed what you stated was true until one night at the Meadowlands, I read this in the program. And he has a page from the Meadow program, Meadowlands program which says, should the second tier consist of one horse, that horse may start from any position in the second tier. Should there be more than one horse, uh, they have to stay behind their respective horses. You stick with me, Joe. What I told you pertained to Roosevelt Raceway, and the rule here is not the same as it is at the Meadowlands. If there is one horse in the second tier at Roosevelt, he must start behind the one horse in the nine horse position behind the one. If he's at the Meadowlands, as the rule read in the Meadowlands program, he can start from anywhere he wants. Here at Roosevelt, once the starter says go, he can then move over and leave behind the fifth horse or fourth horse or anyone he wants. But that is the rule in New York. The second question is from Harold Schneider. And Mr. Schneider is from Newark, New Jersey. And he wants to know, when the wind quiets down, in all sports, the participants have their names across the back of their uniforms. Has it ever been thought of or suggested that all harness drivers should have their names in a uniform manner across the back? It's been thought of, but it hasn't been too popular because, of course, in racing, the silks are rather traditional. In the case of running thoroughbred racing, they're the silks of the owners. In the case of harness racing, the drivers own silks, which they design and get approved by the USTA. I personally think it wouldn't be a bad idea for racing to catch up with other sports in some forms of modernization. That's it for questions and answers tonight.